Hey y'all, we need to talk about the 19 engine oils that were banned in New Jersey. Correct, 19 motor oils banned for the incorrect viscosity. These oils were sent to a lab after many people reported to the Consumer Affairs they had destroyed their engine. Now, the oils were as states, 5W30, 10W30, 10W40, but when the oils were tested, they come back to be 30 weight oils. That's right, SAE30, not even multi-grade oils. And there were many more aside from this in other states. And we'll get to that in just a moment with fake API certifications, guys. And you can check this stuff out. For one, the New Jersey one, if you want to check it out, you can go to the Consumer Affairs in New Jersey gov and find out the information about all the engine oils to name some of the engine oils in new jersey that had the problem for 99 cents as the price i mean that should be a dead giveaway if you ask me but the black knight motor oil the maxi guard lube state and many more check those out as for the api well to get started Let's talk about what API stands for. The service rating of passenger car motor oils is classified by the API, the American Petroleum Institute. The program certifies that a certain oil meets original equipment, OEM performance, and quality standards. So the API makes sure that the engine oil companies are putting the correct specifications on the back of the bottles. This way you can take that information and match it up with what's inside of your owner's manual of your vehicle and use the specification that the oil is requested for that vehicle. Unfortunately, we're having a lot of companies come out nowadays using fake API symbols. Guys, you need to be really careful. Don't just go out buying whatever oil you think you might find the cheapest. 99 cents? 99? Are you out of your mind? I mean, what a gimmick. But people fall for it all the time. They just say, hey, oil's oil. You know, do you have that same motto with everything else? I mean, your vehicle costs you tens of thousands of dollars. Are you really willing to risk it all just for a few dollars? I don't think that's such a great idea. Now, I'll also include where you can find out this other information about all these other fake API certifications and what this could do certain engine oils require certain things for wear and protection for new engines with turbos direct injection i mean these oils are not made for these vehicles but with the api certification if you were looking at it doing your due diligence you would just assume hey this is good oil regardless of price well not good oil per se, but you would say, hey, I trust it. It has the API seal of approval, but unfortunately, that's not the case. The API is doing their part to try to get this pulled off the shelf and get these companies, you know, banned and in trouble like the New Jersey deal. Unfortunately, as fast as they can get them pulled off the shelf, they're just put back on with a different label. That's all they're doing. They're taking the same engine oil and just changing the labels up. The API fake seal of approval these guys are given, well, it's caused a lot of problems. And you guys need to go to the api.org and check it out for yourself. If there's any engine oils that you've been looking into, thought about buying, this is something that you may want to do. As you heard me talk in the past about Dollar General and a lot of these other companies that have come out with uh, fake APIs, fake seals of approval, fake this, fake that. You know, guys, if there's any information you can give, please share it. Now, a lot of these oils typically find their way in these little gas stations, um, little mini marts. Now, when they looked into the owners purchasing the oils, they couldn't find anything fraudulent. It seemed to be legit. So they probably don't know how would they test it. You know, they're going to send everything to a lab. I seriously doubt that one. <laughs> Not going to happen. But hey, any information you can share, anything that we should know about or be aware of, please drop it down in the comments below. 
the NIA community goes a long way to help others out. As always guys, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.